Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how to install a plugin, Zoom like meeting plugin called Big Blue Button, and how to get started with it. I'm on Moodle 3.10.3, and the theme is Fortson, which is completely free. I'm going to go into the administrator login click on it depending on your theme of course it'll look accordingly this is uh, the theme way of using it all right next i'm going to go to plugin and the plugin is right here I'm going to click on it and i'm going to have two options one to download and one to install and one to overview I'm don't want to overview I want to install so I'll click on install and there are two ways as I said of installing one is to install the plugin from Moodle directory and they have a long directory you can choose it there or if you already have it installed on your machine you can simply choose file and install so there are two ways one and two some prefer to install it from Moodle and then to their machine and then to install it on their Moodle. But I'm going to go straight into Moodle.org and install from there. You need to have an account and you need to have your Moodle available. And this is done beforehand or during. So let me just uh, state that I want 3.9. I'm wondering if this plugin is actually a 3.10, sorry, a 3.10. Don't know if they upgraded or not. Let me check. I'm going to also write, if they received an award that doesn't interest me, I'm going to write big blue button. I wonder if the BBB would work. No, it doesn't. Let me stop this and just write BBB. And there it is. Multi embed filter. That doesn't sound like it. All right. So let's write big blue button. I think that'll be clear. There we are. Okay, let me just see if they have a 3.10. They do. All right, that's great. All right, I'm going to click on it. There it is. And notice my two options here. As I said, I can either install now straight to my Moodle site, or I can download it on my computer and then install it the way that I showed you. You can read all about it, but I know everything I need to know, so I'm okay with it. Going to click on install. So again, notice it's been around for a while, this version of uh, Big Blue Button. So let me do that now. Install. Notice here is a list of my current Moodle sites, and I'm looking at this one. So I'll install it here. If you want to add one, you simply uh, go to the plus and you add yours. Make sure that it's the right version and you have the correct link. That's always important. So I'm going to go into install now on the left. You can also delete your Moodle sites if you don't want to use this way of installing plugins or if you don't have it anymore, which happened in my case. I had many more. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to confirm. Very, very easy, but be careful. Some plugins are not compatible. If it says maturity, like it says here, I would think twice. But since this is a test site, I'm not worried. But you should be, and you might not want to do that. Because when it's in maturity, it might interfere. Next, I'm going to do the usual, continue until I get to the very end. Next, upgrade the Moodle. Now, notice if you've reached this point and you change your mind, you simply cancel. But after that, it's going to be too late. You'll be able to uninstall it by going to the overview if you don't like it. Or if it starts causing problems because it says maturity. I'm not sure if this version is in its maturity. I'm sure the others are not. And then we wait. And here we go. Click on continue. And now we can set it up. Notice this is Binder Cider Networks, which allows us to try it out 
there's our secret, even though we haven't paid. And it does cost money if you have a school or a large organization and you'd like to use Big Blue Button. Otherwise, you can contact them. See if there's anything here that says no that I would need. Let's do uh, this one. And let's see if there's wait for moderator enabled by default. If you don't want that and you want your participants to enter before the moderator. Okay, so I think they should be able to enter before. I like that. Don't like people waiting for me. Conference voice bridge can be edited. Voice bridge. I think this is for a paid version. Pre recording presentation. Don't want to see that. I don't like it. All right, and uh, pre upload presentation. You could do that. I notice this part uh, moderated by default. Okay, this uh, is used by default when a new room is added. I would give uh, others a chance. So um, I think teacher, not just the owner, but also uh, the manager, the teacher, course creator, non-editing teacher. I'm wondering about student because I think it's a good idea to allow students to also be able to do this. All right, so that's what I've added. And then mute on start enabled by default is fine. Yes. Disable mic by default. These are all fine. I think the chat, private chat, should be available, but notice it doesn't allow me to tick that off. I guess um, that's the way it's set up. Notice this one too. Public chat disable. You can disable it. It's there by default. These are all default. Notice I can't tick them off. Locked layout. Ignore lock on join. It's interesting. Lock configuration enabled. All these are there for a reason, I guess. And notifications when the recording is ready. That's off. Register live events. That's also off. All right, so let's save it. And we can get started with BBB or Big Blue Button. Great name. Big Blue Button's been around much longer than um, Zoom or some of the others. Actually, I think it started around um, early 2000, 2008, maybe before that. All right, so now we're going to go into a course. As I said, this is a testing site. If you'd like to test things out, feel free to do so, as well as um, notice Google is also here. So how do I do that? Well, first thing I need to turn editing on as I would in any other system. If you're going to allow students to start a big blue button, you need to give them permission in the permission roles or in the course where you want them to have this right. And I like it. I like the fact that Moodle allows you to give permissions to students, not just teachers. Okay, so now we're going to go into, let me not turn that off, into um, add an activity or resource over here. There we are. Now it's coming up and there is big blue button. Now the color and everything depends on your theme, so don't be surprised if it's a different color in your case. Notice big blue button is an activity. You'll find it under activities if you go through these. That's the all, but if you go through each, you'll be able to see what kind of plugin it is. In this case, it's an activity. Going to click on big blue button over there. Wait a few seconds. Okay, so now instance type. If you're not sure of anything here, there's always that question mark where you can click and learn. So if I click on the question mark, I get more information, but I'm not in that position. So notice what you have here. If you open it up, room activity only with recordings, recordings only. All right. Next, general set virtual room name. I'm going to call it test. Next. And notice that's a requirement because it's in red. Show more. And here we have more. We can give more information about the session for the participants. This is, and of course, uh, notice it's a rich editor, which means that you can add lots of things, including 
Microsoft meetings, but you can add a lot more. Notice here, H5P, audio before you start, or video if you want to record that, or up here with Poodle, which is a bit longer. All right, so let's continue here. Display, that's up to you. I'm going to tick it off here. And notify this change to users enrolled. Okay, there we go. Now, what does it mean, change? Send a notification to all users enrolled to let them know that this activity has been added or updated. That's nice. Let's do it, see if it works. Activity room settings. Okay, welcome message. Uh, welcome to BBB. What wait for moderator uh, session can be recorded? All right. View the re for recording, include recordings from deleted activities. Lock settings, um, notice what you can lock. Presentation content, well, you can add the presentation content beforehand, which is great. So let's do it. So notice I've added a PowerPoint, and I like the fact that it shows a P for PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Uh, it could be a PDF, of course. All right, so next, add registration. All users enrolled. I think there's only me right now. And you can go by role. So the manager, course creator, that's how you um, role assigned, I guess, the manager. Next, um, all users notice the information here this is so there all users enrolled join as viewers or moderators i love that the fact that everyone can be a moderator no matter who they are okay so let's make it moderator user that's me the moderator i guess my name is here that's great the role is the manager remember that's what i added so all users you know that's up to me because i'm the only one and uh, teacher can be moderating. Notice the list that I had provided before. Schedule session, first session. Notice you can schedule in advance or right now, of course. Common module settings show on course page. Okay, that's regular. Restrict, you might want to do that. Activity and there are a list of restrictions that I've added to this Moodle site. Every Moodle site might have different, so activity completion, date, grade, user profile, or I can set the restriction. Okay, so let's cancel that. Activity completion. Now this is important. Notice the options here. Show activities complete when conditions are met. Indicate, do not indicate, or manually. Um, in the conditions met, student must view the activity, which I think is ridiculous, which is why I leave it out. Tags, that's up to you. Competencies, you can add competencies if you started this. In this case, I'm going to do nothing. And save and display. Click on that. If you'd like to know more about competencies, notice the Moodle is making use of big blue button. Testing server that comes pre-configured by default. It should be replaced for, it should be replaced for production. So this is a very important notice. And there's more information here. If you go under this gear, which is the settings, and notice what it says here. Locally assigned roles, permissions, backup, restore, competency, breakdown. All right, so it's called the test. It's ready. And all I need to do now is simply join the settings. But if you'd like to see what it looks like, in your course beforehand. Let's go to the course and see what it looks like. The course is called testing. So this is what it will look like. You will see BBB. And if you're a student, you will not see the editing next to it. So if I go in as a student, let me show you what it looks like. If I switch my role to that of a student, so let's switch my role. These are all tips and tricks that you should know about if you're interested in learning how to Moodle, let me know. And you can get free Moodle training on Moodle for Teachers. So I'm going to click on Students so I can view it as a student, view the course. Notice what's not there. What's not there, of course, 
is the editing buttons that were turned on. Notice it still says it's a test and I can join as a learner. Okay, that's what it will look like, but I'm going to join as me, which is slightly different. So let's go back to testing. There it is. Now it's the same. Click on it and then join the session. Now, in this case, I might want to get rid of my webcam since we're going to have another webcam here. I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. Notice the PowerPoint is already there. I can test my microphone. You have to go through this or just tick on it and it's gone. Notice welcome to BBB. Lots of information here about that. The public chat. I can save, copy. These are all important features. Notice I'm the only one. This is the list of users. Shared notes. Public chat which is open. I can click on it and get rid of it. And there, there's my PowerPoint presentation. Let me get the chat back. Okay, and say hello. And then send message. There's the hello. I can, as I said, save it or clear it. Now it's cleared, but this will stay because it's part of the demo that they have. Okay, so all this will stay. There's no way I can clear it. Okay, it's there by default. All right, so let's get rid of um, the public chat. Again, you get rid of it by clicking on this and then you won't see it. But it's still there, of course. Notice uh, what you can do here at the bottom. There's the plus. There's this. Notice I haven't turned anything on. In other words, I don't appear in this class. And notice what's available here. That's for your whiteboard. And let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at each of these. We'll have to move that. Notice it's called test. Start recording. So let's do that. Well, we can't really record anything right now because I don't have my... Notice what's here. Make full screen settings about help, keyboard shortcuts, end meeting, and log out. If you log out, you can come back in. If you end the meeting, it ends. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottom here and enable it. Okay, actually that one is to join audio. Let's click on it. And there. My audio is working. There's the test. Now we need to enable it, to allow it. Okay, which is important. So let's do that. Click on allow. It's connecting. There. Yes, it's working. It's telling me that I'm the only person in this conference. That's fine. There's my video and I'm going to allow it. And then I can compare notes, see if it's any better than the one I'm using on Screencast-O-Matic. So there it is. Notice it's coming from the same, is it Longitech? Yes, it's coming from the same place. And yet I can appear twice, which is nice. Start sharing. Oh, the quality. I didn't do that. Okay. Well, let's go back and um, go into, let's see, I can make it larger too. Don't see the editing right now. It's kind of tiny, which is nice. It's at the top there. I can make it larger or smaller. I can move it around. There we go. Place where I want it. I like the fact that it's tiny, small. All right, let's move it again. See if it goes back there. Yes, it does. Isn't that amazing? All right. Okay, we can move that one around for sure. Okay, there's my name. Okay, so we're going to start recording now by hitting the start recording button over here. There we go. Start recording. Start recording. Yes, I confirm. All right, so there I am now I'm at the bottom. I keep moving around, don't I? Maybe I can put myself on top of that. No, not really. Okay, so um, share your screen. I love this feature. I can even share my screen. There we go. I can share that, but let's wait. Let's go through the slides. I wonder if that was the first one. Yeah, it was. Okay, so I'm moving the slides. There we go. I can also annotate on this by um, notice what I have here to annotate with. I can write on the screen, which is nice, right? 
hello, change the color. Oh, I made a spelling mistake there. Take off the O, but I need to click on it. To, no, I'll just have to get rid of it. It doesn't seem to work. Okay, so there we go. Now it's gone. Let me try another one, and this time I'm not going to make mistakes. Hello. Oh, I did. Okay, got to clear it real fast. Okay, and what else can I add? Turn multi enter multi user. Oh, that's interesting. Multi user. All right, that means that a few people can write. All right, so um, we're going to make it larger, make presentation full screen. All right, now the presentation is full screen. Maybe it's too full. All right, next um, we're going to screen share. Let's do that. Screen share. And uh, what are we going to screen share? Let's see what's available. Window Chrome tab. Let's go to our Chrome tab, even though window is nice. If you do window, you get a full screen. Okay, Chrome tab. And we're going to go to see what's open here. I wonder what timed out. Um, I guess we could try test. Okay, I don't know what that will give. Okay, so it's giving us uh, the site. And that's all we see, which is kind of nice. I see the rim all around. Notice. Okay, which is different from Screencast-O-Matic. Notice this session started. This is nice. The conference is in progress. This session started at 4. Okay, now it's 4.07. All right, that's nice. So this is my general page. Um, let's go to the dashboard or the main page. I think that would be nice. There's the main page of this testing site. Now, I wonder if you'll see there's the stop. It's showing me where this is being shared, but there is the stop button that I can stop at any time. I can't see the chat, okay? Um, so I'm not sure about that, but I think that's fine. I'm screen sharing. Everybody's seeing the screen, I am sure. So let me stop screen sharing. There, I stop screen sharing. But, and there I see BBB. There we go. So now I'm in BBB and I stop screen sharing for those who want to see what it looks like. That's the screen sharing. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's see what's over here at the top right. And I'll show you how I leave and end. Okay, notice the recording is still on and I can see how long it's for. I can pause the recording as well. Okay, so options, make full screen, settings about going to end the meeting. All right, so let me just show you where I am, just in case you lost me. I'm here at the top right, and I'm going to end the meeting by going into end the meeting. So let's do that now, end the meeting, so you can see the rest. End meeting. Yes, I want. And that was very good. Loved it. Loved BBB. I'm waiting for an answer. I know there is a price for organizations. Let me click on OK. There we go. And I'm back on the site. If I go back to the course, the course is called testing. Here I am in the course. And there is, this is a test, right? And I'm waiting for the recording. There are no recordings to show. So I'll be back and show you the recording. So we're back. It didn't take long. It took a minute or two, really, really fast. So I'm going to click on test so I can access the recordings. Notice the recordings are right here. Instead of joining, notice that's still available. I'm going to go to the playback. Notice the name, description, date, absolutely amazing, duration, and notice what's available here. I can hide it. I can notice, give permission or delete it. So let's take a look at what this shows us. 
Okay, now it's locked. Let's unlock it. There we go. Now it's unlocked. And let's um, view the recording right here by clicking on presentation. Notice we can change the name even afterwards. And here we are. That's it. All right, so uh, let's so I confirm. All right, so there I am now at the bottom. I keep moving around. You know. Maybe I can put myself on top of that. No, not really. Okay, so um, share your screen. I love this feature. I can even share my screen. Okay, so I'm going to stop it by hitting over here, pause. Okay, let's do that now. Pause to get... I was just talking as I was uh, with a demo on Screencast-O-Matic. So we're going to uh, close that up. You can do that. Notice there are different ways. You can also make it go faster. Um, the recording notice is down here. Okay, that's uh, where you can hear it. That's the audio. You can make it larger as you wish. And there's the duration over there. Lots of information here. And here, of course, you can maximize it as well, which we're not going to do. So let's, uh, we've paused it. Let's leave. Now you leave by hitting the uh, X on your browser window. I'm using Chrome. Most of these do not work with Safari, only with Chrome. So you can try it, but if it doesn't work on Safari, try Chrome. Have a great day and try BBB, big blue button. You can try it on my site as a demo as well. Just let me know and ask questions in the comment box below and subscribe. Thank you for watching for now.